Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today let's go ahead and take a look at this right here, Edge Quick Action. Um, so right here, that's pretty darn cool. It pops up anywhere you put it on. Um, so let's say I'm in my Gmail. Boom, let's go and tap on it right here and boom, I have all these options, toggles, apps, play and pause app drawer even so that's pretty darn cool as of all these options once again it is called edge quick actions um of course if you guys are actually interested in downloading and installing this app kind of widget app tweak type thing for your android device i have a link down below in the video description but let's go ahead and take a look at this um so i'm just going to move it to the side as it's easier to see uh in this video especially with the camera um so let me go and show you this so right here i tap it on and right now it's so it's showing all the recent apps in the middle um, you got download, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, vibration, sound, all that toggles right there. And, of course, you have your home button. It'll actually bring you to your home. Uh, app drawer, play, and play and pause, and fast forward. Uh, so let's go ahead and select an app. Let's select Gmail. And boom, it opens up to Gmail. Uh, let's say I want to do something else. Let's say I want to try my Wi-Fi. It turns on my Wi-Fi. So as you can see now, let's go and see that. And now, as you can see, it is turning on my Wi-Fi. Boom, there we go. I'm going to turn it back off as I don't want all the mail coming in throughout this video. Um, so let's use, uh, show you home. Home button. Boom. It shows you home. So let's say on my home screen, I press home. Uh, you can't really see it, but the home button right here on my phone, I press home. And boom, it brings me to my home. Um, so pretty darn cool, pretty neat and easy to use. And it's super, super easy for anyone to use, um, especially if you have small fingers or anything like that. You don't want to have, you know, if you have small fingers, you don't want to slide all the way from the top, uh, slide all the way down, then uh, turn on your toggles for Wi-Fi data, uh, Bluetooth, all that other sound stuff too. Um, instead, you can just use it right here and go ahead and change it up in the middle of the screen, which is a lot easier instead of actually, you know, pulling your finger all the way to the top, sliding down and tapping on it. You can just uh, put your finger right here. Oh, oh, let's go back out of that. Put your finger right here and slide across. Super, super easy to do. Um, anyone can do it. Um, so let me go ahead and go into this uh, app settings. Uh, so it's edge right here. Let's go and tap on that right here. And you have a couple of options. And currently in this video, I'm actually using the free version. There is a pro version. And of course, once I do show you some of the uh, features that you can't use unless you get the uh, pro version, uh, you'll be able to see the features, um, which are kind of a lot of them. Not everything, but there are some of them that I wish it wasn't pro. Um, but there are a lot of them that you kind of want to need to get pro to actually make a customization, uh, to really customize it to your own preference and all that. Uh, but enough of uh, you know chit chat and all that. Let's go and show you the options and customization features. Um, so show and hide elements. So let's go and see that. So currently right now it's it's set to show recent apps. And if I go and tap on this to kind of you know change it up or something. Um, I really can't. Like I said, Edge Pro. I need to be pro. I'm not really going to get this as this video is only for intended purposes for you guys, the viewers, to let you guys know about this sweet app that you can really use uh, daily. Um, and you also have uh, tap shortcuts. Um, so you can, oh, ta yeah, toggle shortcuts, actually. I'm sorry. Um, actually, it says tap shortcuts. Um, so you can go ahead and change this around. So I believe this is in Pro. So if you go and select that. So yes, you can change this around. Enable more if you'd like. Um, okay, so, oh, actually, no, you can't even enable more. All right, so you can only enable the ones that are actually uh, listed. Um, like I said, you can't really customize it a lot. Uh, bomb shortcuts are the same thing. Um, let's go into active edge uh, settings right here. Um, right now, by default, it's set on to left, but uh, you can't really change it either. Um, so as you can see, it's still a great functioning um, application. Um, just your extras and your more uh, preference, personal preference, is limited to the pro version if you want to get it. Um, it's $2. Um, if you want to get it, you can. I'm just going to link the free version in the video description. Um, and I, I also said that edge sensitivity to high. I found it a lot easier for me to actually detect it if it's high. Uh, you can go and set it to whatever really you want, even very high if you'd really like to. I'm just going to set it to high. Um, then you can change uh, edge position and height, I believe, yes, so that's not pro version. Um, so actually change it right here, but you can go and change the position wherever you really like to. So I'm going to put it right there and the height of it so you can make it longer or shorter. So that's uh, maybe a little bit less right there, so that's about right. Um, right there, so you can go and change it up so you don't accidentally press it all the time. You just put it in one specific spot. I'm really glad that's a uh, free version, as that would be a pain in the butt if it wasn't. And of course, we have general settings too. Um, this is uh, pro version too, so background color. 
and uh, highlight color two is pro uh, one touch side mode um, or one touch mode. I tried taking this off and it still works. So you can slide your finger across even though it says one touch. I enable it or disable it, it still works. So I don't really know what that is. Um, it also vibrates and you can do start on, re uh, start on boot. And yes, those are, those are free features too. Uh, of course, you can get about it. Uh, you can get the pro version, and you can share this app with your friends. Um, so not much to it. Uh, it's fully functional, and it's still usable even though it's not. Uh, you don't get all the pro versions. That is Edge Quick Actions app for your Android device. Um, Root is actually not required, so that's a big bonus right there, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed this app review, be sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. I really do appreciate it, guys. Really do appreciate all the support you guys give me every single day. I truly do appreciate it. Um, you can subscribe and like this video by clicking the bottom left hand corner right there. And don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And those three social networks are also great places to get in contact with me. That's it, guys. Link down below for the app review. Thanks. Peace.